Next on my list, can we talk about vanity and men instead of women? They all talk about women being vain. Clap if you think men are actually more vain than women. Well, interestingly, in the November issue of GQ magazine, they interviewed Matthew McConaughey, and he admits, he says, I am vain, and I think it is a good thing. And apparently, a lot of men agree, because according to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, the number of men using Botox has increased 310% since the year 2000. It has its own name. They call it Brotox <laughs> instead of Botox. So we have with us today board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Monica Halem. Dr. Halem, welcome to you. Great, thank you. Thank you. What percentage of your male patients, what percentage of the male patients are actually getting Brotox? So in my practice, I see about 30 to 40% of men actually getting cosmetic procedures. And it's really become the in thing, this Brotox. And aesthetic treatments are increasing in men. It's the biggest demographic we're seeing. How and young are the guys that are getting it? So it can range anywhere from your late 20s, early 30s, into your late 60s and 70s. And it's not only about Botox, but men are also enjoying doing different things, such as dermal fillers and laser resurfacing and skin tightening. And it's really also become about prevention as well. And so the younger population is realizing that it's about prevention. Speaking about young, your patient yeah. right yeah. now is one of our staffers, Luke. I don't know how they convinced you to do this. You look <laughs> like a baby. How old are you? I'm 25 years old. So why, why are you doing it? Well, you know, I'm often lost in thought. I'm a thinker. So I get, <laughs> you know, these creases going on. And for me, I heard Brotox was about you know, preventing wrinkles, and I just want to age well. I mean, doesn't everyone want to take care of themselves, age well? Sure, absolutely. So you're going to start this right so now, Dr. Are, Wright. Yeah. So when we have a great model here, and on him, one of the best areas that we can do is right between the brows. And that's where when you furrow your brows, you look a little bit angry. But even though he doesn't place. need it now, this will... It will prevent it. So if you move less often, you will not etch that line in. And that's really where the focus has become. So, okay, so I want to know how long this is going to take and when we'll see the effects. It's going to take, about five, it's gonna me. take about five <laughs> minutes and it's absolutely painless. Five minutes. Five minutes. So I'm going to clean him off here. And you know, in the past, Meredith, we used to do a lot more Botox and make people expressionless. And really now it's about natural and subtle results. Okay, we're going to get back to you then, Dr. Luke. Good luck. Ah, okay. <laughs> Okay, look away, look away, <laughs> it's fine.